In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another way to create strongly typed data sets. This time we're going to use the XML schema designer to, uh, to design the schema that a data set will derive from. So we're going to take the same approach as before to create a SQL connection and data adapter by going to the server explorer and dragging and dropping the employee table onto our design surface. I'm going to go ahead and go to properties and select configure data adapter and I'm going to go through the configuration wizard and make all the default selections. Click finish. However, what I'm not going to do is select the generate data set. In this case, I'm going to build that XSD by hand. Now, why would you want to take this approach instead of the approach we're going through? Well, in the given scenario that we're in where I'm pulling straight from one table, maybe it doesn't make as much sense. Maybe uh, there's another scenario, however, where um, the data is coming from a different source. Uh, we only need a subset of the data. Um, you'll have to decide for your given situation why you would want to take this approach that I'm going to demonstrate. But what we're going to do is um, right-click a project and select Add New Item. And I'm going to select Data Set. And we're going to call this DS Employees. And now I'm going to drag and drop um, items off of the, uh, the toolbox. For example, we'll drag and drop an element. We'll call this employee. And then I'm going to start to add the other uh, the fields or the sub-elements for, uh, for this element. So I'll type a few out, and then I'll just do the rest off camera. I have to be kind of careful here because I want to make sure that the name of the column is the same as the name that's coming from the data source. If I were to want to change the name here, I would need to use a table mapping object, and we're going to discuss that in a future video. But for right now, we're going to make sure that they're spelled exactly the same, because if they're not, we're going to have a disconnect between what data is delivered and what data is then um, uh, accessible, I guess you'd say, through the data set itself. So I'm going to pause and fill in the rest of this information. Okay, so I've created the rest of our of our XSD, and uh, if you want some more information about how to create um, XSD schemas using the um, the schema designer, uh, I would refer you to the series of videos in the 2500 series. So now that we've uh, made our changes here, I'm going to go ahead and select Save. And then I'm going to close this. Now what I need to do is go to my toolbox, select the Data tab, and drag and drop a data set onto our design surface. When I do, the Add Data Set dialog appears. I want a typed data set, and I get to select which data set to choose from. We only have one in our application, so I'm going to select DS Employees. And that makes it tied to the XSD that we just created. It creates an instance called DS Employees 1. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my toolbox. And like we did in the previous video, I'm going to drag and drop a data grid and a button onto my design surface. Just quickly go through the motions of wiring everything up. We're going to select the data source and the data member. It is a strongly typed data set by virtue that we can see the employee ID, first name, and so on, the column names. And we're going to wire up the code behind. And this is almost exactly uh, the same um, code that we had from the previous video. I went ahead and just pasted it in. Uh, so if you need an explanation, look at video 2451. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to build my solution and we'll test it out. And after just a moment it pops up, it does pull data from the strongly typed data set. 
I'm going to go ahead and click button one, and this time it pops up the first name, Paulo. So this is a second method of creating strongly typed data sets. A little bit more work gives us a little more flexibility uh, than merely using the data set um, uh, generate data set command. And so uh, we can do it from more sources. We don't have to do it just from SQL or ODBC data sources. It gives a little more flexibility. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video.